Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and I'm back with another Steam Deck gameplay video. And uh, this is a, a new game I found. I, I think it's, I, if I recall correctly, I think it's a, a free game. And um, it's not a demo, I think it's the full game, it's for free. It, I believe it's, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna, I think it says Mines of Frostheim. And uh, Steam says that it, or Valve says that it is un, uh, unknown. It is from December of 2021, so it's it's a little less than a year old, um, and it's from Zero G Productions. Like I said, it is uh, it is unknown according to Steam, or according to Valve, and uh, so let's see. The uh, mostly positive 70 72 percent of 18 all time. Um, I, I know that some people probably won't like this automatically because it looks like an RPG Maker game. Um, and, I mean, that doesn't bother me. In fact, uh, I own all the RPG Maker uh, software, and, and, and I'm trying to learn how to make games in R RPG Maker, which is actually why I downloaded this when I saw it, because um, this person does something, this developer does something, or team, whoever's doing it, uh, that that I want to learn how to do in in my uh, in in my game that I'm that I'm building, um, and so uh, I want to highlight that because it, it is really 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 cool. Um, of course, it didn't do this last time when I loaded it up, so that's interesting. There we go. Um, maybe it's because it's in. Oh, you know what? It looks like it's in windowed mode now, which is interesting. Um, so. Uh, it's it's not a, a mouse. It's it's you 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 navigate using the D-pad or the left joystick. Uh, so new game options, and then you keep going. Credits, exit game. We're going to go to options first, and so uh, I'm in all right now. And this is typical R RPG Maker uh, type options. Uh, you know, always dash, command, remember, uh, and then let's see. Uh, it has the mini map has a bunch of volume stuff um, actually there's more that isn't visible so yeah okay there's the window uh, where's full screen yeah full screen is on so that's curious uh, on there we go there we go for some reason it was showing windowed or maybe I just didn't see it right I don't know um, that's a little weird but uh, but I had already uh, played this just uh, earlier today. Uh, whoops, no, 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 go back. Uh, so general, audio, visual, so they're all separate. Uh, okay, and I'm I'm on widowed mode. Okay, good. So um, now the cool thing about this, again, I don't mind RPG Maker games, but this right here is cool. Um, you know, I want to implement something where the, the player can uh, design their own, you know, character. And that's exactly what this person is doing. So first, you get your choice of body, where you you click you click the A to move over, and then you can you know whatever you pick changes whoops um, changes the the picture here, and it automatically moves over to color. So you have to press B to go back, but you can quickly um, just go back and forth. Whoops. Uh, let's see, green guy, right? So. Uh, and then when you're over at the color, you can change the color, and, and you have to change the ears separately. So there's a variety of colors that you can choose from, uh, and then you just keep going. So, uh, whoops, no, I do not want to exit. So that you have uh, eye options, which you really can't see that well. You know, I, I apologize for the way this is being recorded. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Maybe you can see better. Um, and there's more than what's on the screen. If I scroll over, you can... Um, if I actually select it uh, and you go over here, there's a whole bunch. You can just keep scrolling through the eyes. And then um, you go to eyebrows. Again, same thing. There's a whole bunch of eyebrows. And mouth. And nose. And ears. And, of course, there's a little little less options for ears. Um, beast ears. Uh, there's a ton of clothing. I mean, ton of clothing. So when you click over here, it changes what the, the sprite is wearing. Um, and you can change the color of what the sprite, you know, once you once you do that. Um, then it lets you do front hair, and then it lets you do rear hair, and again, changing the colors. And then you can do beard, accessories, accessory A and B, cloaks, glasses, uh, wings, tails. So there is a ton of customization here that you can do 
for your in-game uh, sprite and you know the in-game uh, picture, which is which is awesome. I have not, and I could I could be uh, I could just be um, not as uh, versed in RPG Maker games, but I don't think I have seen this in another uh, RPG Maker game. And this is exactly one of the things that I want to do uh, in the game that I'm I'm making myself. So uh, so that's or you know as I'm learning, I'm just, you know basically learning how to use RPG Maker. So that is really cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just randomize now. So um, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that's a little freaky. Um, and whoops, we're going to go. I want to randomize again. <laughs> so I will say that some of the some of the combinations don't go together terribly well. Um, they they don't. I mean, it, it's RPG Maker. If you uh, same thing with uh, Sims. You know, if you if you try to put some things together on the Sims, um, sometimes they just don't mesh well, right? Um, but that's fine. So I'm going to keep the character that's right here. I just thought that um, this was this was a really cool uh, beginning feature. Uh, and then you get to name your character, and, and again, this is easy, so you don't have to use the Steam X to the keyboard. Um, you just do the uh, in in game uh, keyboard here, uh, which is is awesome. I like that. This is also kind of standard uh, fare from what I've seen. And then it gets into you know what you what you so it's going to tell you a little bit of a, a back history here, um, and I'm going to see if I can click through it. No, it's not going to let me. So I'll just click. I'll just click faster here. Uh, basically, you go in, and it's telling you about uh, the greed of these people, and you know they mine for all this uh, this resources and wealth, and they, you know the greed drives them to go deeper and deeper and deeper, and then until one day, uh oh, something bad happened, and uh, you know essentially uh, monsters came out, and you know to avoid uh, you know killing everybody. And to you know, stop the monsters from uh, you know from you know invading the world, I guess, and killing everybody. Uh, they sealed off the mine. Okay, that's the story. Uh, so they they sealed the mine to prevent the people from reaching the surface or the bad guys, the the creatures. And you know, and then later on, of course, humans being what they are, um, you know, the generations pass, and then they go over and say, "Oh, we want the wealth." So. Uh, you know, they, it's inevitable. They they had to come back, and you know they're they're gonna reopen the line, and they're looking for people to, to do it. Uh, all right, so they're looking for people to do their quest, and thus begins the journey of Zombie, a novice of the Nomad, searching for treasure and glory in the depths of the mines of Frost Time. Frost Time. And from what I saw, I, I didn't get to do. Uh, I didn't really get to do combat. Um, so let's see. Haha! -ha, finding that shortcut was super easy. All the good stuff is in the lower depths anyway. So you somehow found a way to get to the very, very lowest depths. Uh, now all I have to do is loot everything I see, and everybody will be jealous of me. Uh, so you're just walking around here. This is standard RPG Maker stuff. You can, you know, use either the D-pad or the or the joystick. Um, and you know, last time there was uh, stuff there. Uh, oh yeah, and it's designed to basically uh, kill you immediately. Uh, so this is this is the, the the format that they used. So you can do fast battle, you can do fight, or you can do escape. Um, I'll just try to escape, but it's not going to do any good. They're going to kill me. Uh, oh, it's not even going to let me. Nope, it's not even going to let me. Uh, so I'm just going to click fight. Uh, and then waiting for turn, and then they crush me, and I don't even know how to attack, uh, to tell you the truth. Um, yeah, zombie was defeated. So, uh, you know, it, it does that thing where, you know, it, 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 it beats you or kills you or whatever just to advance the story. And then you wake up, and basically you find out, hey, um, you're not ready to, to go into the mines like that. Um, you know, hey, you're lucky to be alive. They found you unconscious. They brought you here. I never thought the monsters would be that strong. You need better equipment. You know, here, let me give you some equipment. All right. Uh, belong to his son. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes off. Oh, I see. I should head over to the guildmaster's office, the house next to here. I'm sure, the guildmaster's like a word with you. Uh, so you got get an updated quest. And, um, I mean, this is, this is classic. Um, okay, so to see your active quest, press the menu button. 
uh, escape on the keyboard or Y on the controller and enter the quest menu. So it does look like it does have um, you know gamepad uh, controller um, uh, hints inside, so that's cool. Uh, so I'm going to click there. I click Y, and it pulls up what you would expect uh, for a RPG Maker uh, type uh, interface, right? So you have items that you can go into. Uh, you have your skills that you can go into. Uh, she doesn't have any uh, equipment or equip. Uh, so you can either manually equip or you can auto equip, which means it puts um, you know the best things you have um, in the correct slots. You have a weapon, an offhand weapon, armor, waist, boots, necklace, and two accessories. You have um, HP, MP, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, agility, luck. That's standard RPG Maker Fair right there. Um, uh, you've got your uh, statuses, right? So uh, general, you've got elements. So it tells you all about the different elements and whether, uh, you know, how much damage you'll receive from fire, ice, lightning, water, earth, wind, holy shadow. Uh, states, so there's a ton of states, right? Um, and then you have your attributes, okay? So a bunch of different uh, attributes. Uh, experience rate, hit rate, evasion rate, critical hit rate, critical evasion rate, magic evasion rate, magic reflect rate, counter rate, uh, and then just a, a bunch of other things, which which is beyond, you know, uh, you know standard RPG Maker Fair, so, so that's really cool. Um, you can't do formation because you only have one person right now. You have your, your quests, right? So um, active quests, completed quests, archives. Uh, you've got allocate, which is, um, yeah, you don't have anything to, uh, to increase right now. Um, you have your monster book, your options again, and then end game. And then there's a, a play time counter. Uh, so let's see, total items, max items, guild tokens, gold, uh, you know, hit point, uh, ma magic, you know, uh, magic points, whatever your level one. Uh, so anyway, so that's the standard type of thing there. But I, th you know, the whoever made this went, you know, beyond what what is standard in uh, in RPG Maker, uh, you know, out of the box type stuff. Uh, so this is he's also a in. So spend the night, save the game. No, nothing. No, I'm gonna go over here. Um, I, I would kind of like to um, see the combat, uh, but I'm not sure. I think the first thing they have you do is go talk to a bunch of townspeople. So, ah, zombie, glad to see you're back on your feet. Uh, there's the that's the guildmaster. Thank you, Aldrich. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Haha, ha, not at all. You'd be surprised how many people end up getting knocked out down there. I think the problem is you, uh, you bit off more than you could chew. There's no room for errors down there. You shouldn't take shortcuts. Uh, I understand that. Uh, it's good to hear. I think you could be use a I think you could use a bit of refreshing on the basics, though. I want you to head around town and familiarize familiarize yourself with the townsfolk. Take note of their services and whatever advice they have to learn from. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, whatever. And so you receive some gold, some XP, a health potion, and you were assigned a quest to go talk to people. Uh, talk to this guy. He's a guard. And you know, you basically uh, move around using the um, D-pad, the joystick. Uh, you use A to confirm, and you know, you go around here and, and talk to different people. Um, Use your joystick if, if you think uh, if you think that's nice. I, I will say that I, I do like the graphics, or meaning that as somebody who who has uh, played around with Archie, RPG Maker, um, I, I, the maps look really nice. So uh, the, you know, I will compliment people on that. Uh, the, the nights here seem to last forever. I can't remember when the last time I saw the sun. Uh, you can basically go. You know, a, a lot of these times you can go. You know, anywhere you want. You can go into people's houses. You can go talk to a bunch of people. Um, I, I really, let's see, the Healer Guild is not for everyone. You must have Empathetic Soul. Uh, I'm not going to go around and try to talk to everybody. I'm going uh, to try to skip that and see if there's a way out of town just so to see if I can get a, um, see if I can get a combat uh, going. Uh, I, I, the one concern I have, no, is, um, is that from the combat where your, your planet, where you are supposed to lose, um, please go to the guild master before, uh, oh, continue to the mine, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to leave. Um, the one thing that, um, I, I didn't, the, the one thing it looked like for combat was that, um, 
and I will say, I'll, I'll complete my thought. I do like that, um, some people call it the fog of war or whatever, but basically how you can't see the whole map. It's kind of dark on the edges, so you see it as you, you get you know closer and things. I, I kind of I do like that. Um, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go deeper into this. Uh, basically, the Y pulls up all your options. Uh, B is cancel. A is confirm. You move with the D-pad and the joystick. And when it comes to combat, um, it looked like, now I could be wrong, but in that combat I where I was supposed to die, it, it does the, I can't even remember the term now, um, it's slipping my mind, but it's basically where you, you you're, you, there's a bar that charges, and when it hits the, it, when it, it gets full, you can attack. Uh, so it's it's kind of like continuous combat where, you know, the, the enemies keep attacking you, you have to wait for your bar to charge for you to do something. Um, it's not turn-based. And, you know, so I know a lot of RPG Maker games have those two options, essentially, where you go completely turn-based, uh, or you go where, you know, basically the combat continues and, and you wait for your uh, bar to charge and then you can you can attack. I don't like that option as much as turn-based. That's just me as a player. And, and partly because I feel rushed and I don't feel like I get to choose the attack that I want. Um, and when I play games, I, I like lots of options. I like lots of choices. So, you know... My favorite games, I, my each character that I'm playing has like you know 10, 20 ch options to, to choose from for attacks, and that doesn't work so well when you're doing continuous combat. So, um, but this is this is pretty much it. Uh, the combat would be um, you know kind of like it, it you saw when you died. Um, you know where where um, you know that's that's the type of combat it is. If you if you've looked at RPG Maker games, um, this looks very you know, consistent with that. Although I, I do think the art is um, is 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 very um, not standard, and uh, you know I, I do like a lot of the features here. Uh, so I would give them a, a big thum thumbs up on the effort in making, from what I've seen so far, the visuals and um, and that character creation is the really one of the big reasons I I wanted to download this, and it is free. And I will play through it because I, I want to, you know, experience it. Uh, and like I said, I, I, I'm trying to learn how to do a lot of this myself as well. So uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to go back here to Y. I'm going to go down to End Game. And you can go to Desktop, Title, or uh, Cancel. So let's go to Title first. And then can you exit from here? Yeah, you can exit from here. So um, I, 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 hats off to, to this person. Uh, I know that there's some negative comments uh, on on the steam reviews uh, you know cr complaining about certain things but it's it's a free game for crying out loud number one uh, and uh, I, I can tell just from just from what I've dabbled in with RPG maker I can tell that this person put effort into into you know what they were making uh, so you know hats off to them and uh, so you know, I'm definitely going to play through this. Uh, it is a free game. It's Minds of Frost Time. Uh, I I really do like that um, character creation uh, system in the beginning. Uh, yeah, some of the combinations don't go quite together. Uh, so, you know, some things look funny, but but it does that anyway. Uh, from from just playing around, uh, you know, with the the engine itself. Uh, when you know you're making making your own characters, put in your own game. So uh, anyway. Uh, I, I, I think this is pretty cool, and um, I'm definitely going to kind of finish playing through it, and then I'll leave a, leave a review on the page. Uh, so anyway, I, I hope that helps. Um, you know, I'm glad you folks found me. You know, if these videos are, are helpful, you know, please, please like them, subscribe to the channel, get notifications, leave comments, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm happy to hear from folks, and, and I will respond if I see comments, and, and again, if I understand them. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, anyway, it's, it's all good. And, um, I don't know if I'll do any more videos, uh, tonight cause it is getting late. And like I said, these, these take a while to, uh, upload. Um, but, uh, but if not, I'll hopefully get some more out tomorrow. It's still the weekend. Uh, and so anyway, ha have a great night folks. Happy gaming. And, uh, I'll talk to everyone later.